Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your Android phone's camera as a webcam on your computer. There are many reasons that you might want to do this. I'm not going to get into the reasons why you might want to do it. I'm just going to show you exactly how you can do it step by step. So you can watch this video and then you can simply just go and do it. It's not hard at all. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know. So step number one, you need to come to your computer and you want to type in Droid Cam. So Droid Cam is going to be the application that we, we're going to be using. You may have tried to use this app before and it might not have worked, but I'm going to show you how you can make sure it works and how we can do it with a wire instead of actually using the wireless webcam mode like the application is designed for. So you want to go to Droid Cam, you want to then scroll down and download Windows Client. So once you've downloaded that, it's going to download a zip file. So we can click download here. It's going to download a zip file. I've already got this downloaded and installed. You can then go and install the Droid, Droid Cam client here. Now it's going to tell me that it's already installed. So I'm just going to open up the client. So here is the Droid Cam client. All you need to do now is just leave it and you need to go and download the same client onto your Android phone. So click on the Play Store. And then when you're in the Play Store, you want to simply click uh, search for Droid Cam again. There are paid versions of this, but just download the free version. I'm going to show you how you can use that. So I've got Droid Cam Wireless Webcam downloaded already. We can now open that in our Android phone. Now what we need to do is we need to scroll down or swipe down on our Android phone. And however you usually get to settings, you want to just click on the settings cog. And then you want to go down to about phone and click on that. Once you're there, you want to scroll down and you want to click on software information and then click on build number. What that's going to do is it's going to enable developer mode. If you've already got it enabled, you'll see no need developer mode has already been enabled. If it's not been enabled before, then it's going to go ahead and enable developer mode. Once you've done that, go back, go to go back again, go to developer options and you want to make sure developer options is on here. Then you can scroll down and you also want to make sure that USB debugging is also on. So once we've done that, we've done everything we need to do with the settings. We can now open up Droid Cam on the Android phone. So now we've got Droid Cam open on our phone. We've also got Droid Cam open on the computer. Now by default, it's probably going to be set to Wi-Fi. What you want to do now is you want to click to connect over USB. Now you want to fit your phone charger into your Android phone, plug it into your computer. So you've got a direct USB connection from your phone to your computer. Now what you can do is you can click on the USB box and you simply want to click on start. You can tick whether you want video and audio or just video. I'm going to untick audio actually and just keep the video because I probably would use the audio from a different microphone anyway. Then you can click start and you should start to see it do things on your phone. And you can see right now uh, it's started and we have the webcam on screen. Now by default, you're probably not going to have the webcam on screen, or, or you might do, but it might be the backwards camera. I'm going to show you how you can flip it to the front camera. So, you want to stop the recording, and you want to go back to your phone, click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, click onto settings, and then what you want to do is you want to click limit FPS, and you want to uncheck that. It's basically going to limit the FPS and it's going to make the recording a lot la a lot more laggy if you have this checked. Then you want to go to camera and you can choose whether you want the front or back camera. With the front camera, obviously you can see what you're recording so it's going to be a little bit easier to frame the shot. So now we've got all them settings done, we can now click start again. And here we have our webcam all up and running and working. Now, what you need to do, and this is kind of crucial really, I have a USB cable that for some reason falls out of my phone now and again. So make sure you've got like a good USB cable that you can um, that you can rely on that isn't going to fall out of your phone. Also, if you get any pop-ups to allow USB developer mode or debugging mode, just click allow to all of them and it should work. Now you might need like a tripod or something. Um, a tripod will work wonders to put your phone on and then set it up as a webcam. So that is pretty much honestly all you have to do. It's not rocket science, it's honestly quite easy. And um, once you've got it synced together with DroidCam, you don't need to do anything ever again. You just need to plug in your USB and then um, click start. And it's going to broadcast your phone camera to your computer, which you can then use. 
I hope that video helped you out. If it did, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers, guys.